<laughs> so James <laughs> fancies himself as a bit of a lifter, right? <laughs> and he um, he set the bench up for me a minute ago. He didn't put the pin in correctly. And it's lucky that I didn't die in the process. <laughs> the bloody bench collapsed on me. <laughs> People were panicking, there were screams. <laughs> people ran, people from downstairs ran upstairs. <laughs> people running around the corner to check I was okay. Fortunately, I'm not made of biscuit. But if I was, we'd be having problems right now. Um, moral of the story is, the stitch ups continue from James. <laughs> the stitch ups continue. Um, yeah. Adrenaline's a little bit high, you know, I fell, I fell down. I look like a Wally, but I'll share it with you because you know, these things happen. This is part of life. Just a bit. Welcome back. Me and James are in the car. We're over. To, we're on route to the triathlon shop, um, and we're gonna bring one of my bikes in to get serviced. My road bike. Um, haven't. It's been sitting there collecting dust since June. So, um, so I'm gonna get it cleaned up, get it serviced, um, and see where we're at. We're out of it. Um, we started the blog today with me running. That was yesterday. Done an 800 meter interval treadmill workout, five sets of 800 meters. Good workout. Once we drop this bike off, we're gonna head over to the gym and get some lifting in. So I'll see you very shortly. At least you know how to put a wheel on now. Just about, mate. <laughs> I was wondering how long that was going to take. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I did it. Yo. Basically, a fully qualified engineer nowadays. I think that's all it takes, isn't it? Put a wheel on, you can do anything. You've got to believe it to achieve it. <laughs> Ouch. 
Good thing I can edit music over that squeaking, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there's that. It's my joints. Yeah. It's not the cables. No. This workout, mainly upper body focus, so a little bit of lower body in there as well. So we're hitting certain parts a couple of times a week in terms of resistance. Um, got all the, the sort of exercises you expect to see in a triathlon workout. We have stuff like pull down, back strengthening, I think swimming, pulling, some shoulder pressing, you need strong shoulders for swimming, you need strong sh shoulders for cycling. And we've got some stuff that's going to be beneficial for the core, some calf strengthening, some external rotations, and all the stuff that you'd pretty much expect to see um, a triathlete doing in the gym if they want to be strong. Uh, I was thinking the other day about, well no I wasn't thinking, I was talking to a patient the other day about, they were saying that they were lacking motivation to train um, and I was thinking about what keeps me motivated to train um, and to be honest at the minute I would say I'm not that motivated to train as such but what I've got is a good routine and a plan to follow in the build to next year's event ideally and also I love training um, but I'm not it's not motivating me, <laughs> it's not at the moment, it's not inspiring me to train, but I, I love training, I enjoy it. Um, so I get the kind of good psychological benefits from doing some exercise um, and physically feel better for doing it. But um, I'm not motivated as such, I'm sticking, just sticking to a plan. And because the plan's there, it's easy. So you don't, I don't necessarily need to be that motivated. I just pull up my phone, check what the workout is and then in my scheduled time which I've already scheduled to do the workout I just do the workout so I explained that to the to the patient that sometimes it's not really about motivation sometimes it's about just having a, a plan and then building it into your diary and then sticking to it and um, we having a discipline to stick to it um, we'll see next time we see them <laughs> um, how they uh, how they gone with that but yeah it actually feels relatively effortless at the moment I don't like I don't need to be motivated but I would like to ideally have some a good way to get motivated I think and I'm saying to saying, saying this to this patient as well is that when you have an event that you're prepping for or something in the diary that you and and I kind of feel like it really to be to make you motivated motivated or keep or to spur you on it kind of needs to be something you know short term to aim for that then maybe boost to your longer term goal so say for me for instance I'm supposed to do this half marathon recently but you know supposed to do other stuff um, it's not come off the covid measures are slightly stricter at events at the moment etc so um, but yeah those types of little short term targets to hit like next year there'll be lots of like maybe some half Ironmans and half marathons maybe some other smaller smaller triathlons in preparation for the, the Ironman I do in July that's that's that will get people motivated um, but besides that it's all about just showing up and doing the work to be honest and on that note I've had about five minutes rest so I should probably <laughs> carry on and do my work <laughs> otherwise we're just talking, we're not working. And if you see them on Instagram this week, it says, less talking, more walking. So, that this one.
isn't that nicer this time? It's the chop. No, no. Bodybuilder last night. <laughs> <laughs> All about that. I'm like a BOSU ball doing shoulder taps life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about this life either. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the BOSU ball. Oh, there's only the BOSU ball. Party's ball. Chicken ball. <laughs> Look like a Wally ball, whatever it is. Isn't it? Use these to. It's the word. Demasculise people. Make make, make people look less masculine. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong word. But just give them this. Make them sit on it and do like shoulder press or something. Mm -hmm. it takes away all their power. Mm -hmm. My power has been stolen. <laughs> Start somewhere. We'll do baby racks properly. Yeah. Rather than collapse into a heap. Lethal, isn't it? It's the fight with your lower back, stop it from mine. Engage core. Maybe we did it. These. Not fun. And 
I'm gonna over the next four weeks. I'm gonna take well three. We've got three weeks left of this program. Programming. I'm gonna be a ninja with this. So watch out. Right. So all done. So today's vlog had the uh, the run and the, that train session there in the gym. Good session. Um, once again, like last session, not going to take too much out of me, but very specific for triathlon. It's only going to help me. Um, it should be there. You know, resistant training for triathlon, um, or for any sport really, should be there to supplement um, your training rather than uh, take away from it. So you should should add and aid you to being a better athlete. So that was good. Good workout. Happy with that. Thanks for joining us. We are. Well, we have even got some really cool stuff. I don't really mention too much at the moment, but we've got some cool stuff coming up. You'll see it unfold very, very shortly. Um, and we will see you in the next video.